I've been keeping this Daphnia culture going for about 25 years during winter months when I was unable to culture green water I kept them going you can use spirulina and yeast in solution to feed them and they can survive on that but unless you add green water you're not going to have an explosion of Daphnia during warm months I was able to culture green water outdoors until recently I discovered that the main issue with culturing green water indoors seems to be the nutrient once you have a culture of some species of unicellular free-floating algae Chlorella vulgaris seems to be the best as long as they have sufficient light and nutrition and also the water is aerated so that it keeps the algae in suspension they do very well unless the culture is taken over by some sedentary form of algae or cyanobacteria which can rob the water of nutrition culture in green water is actually quite easy on the left is my Chlorella vulgaris culture and to the right of that I'm making an attempt to restart my blackworm cultures since I found a few survivors in the Daphnia culture from keeping them previously and to the right of that are the four gallon cultures of Daphnia magna you can see the one on the far left is quite clear and then the one in the center is very green because I recently added green water to that the Daphnia in the two jars on the right did have an infusion of green water but they've largely consumed it so the water is beginning to clear as you can see from the hundreds of Daphnia in this culture feeding them Chlorella vulgaris is definitely preferred and now that I've learned to culture green water indoors I should have plenty of Daphnia to feed to my fish. <laughs>